Istanbul, Turkey, the only city in the world that exists on two continents. The stunning Bosporus Strait divides this city. One side is Asia, the other, Europe. I love it because of the history. Meet chef Jivan Ur, chef and co-owner of Yeni Lokanta. This is a chef that believes in taking food back to the basics, but with a contemporary twist. And he does it all in very cramped quarters. I like very much my wife, but I like very much to cook. And then there's Savaz Edemir, an executive chef in a kitchen with its own story. You see, Savaz runs a gourmet kitchen from the basement of what used to be one of Istanbul's most infamous jails. Of course, it's now a five-star Four Seasons hotel. Small kitchen, out of chefs, and you can be crazy in there. And then there's the pretty boy. Chef Gian Kipkak has been featured in Turkey's GQ magazine and is pretty popular with the ladies. But let me tell you, this guy can cook. Who knows the best corners of Istanbul, its markets, its architecture? We're gonna find out right here, right now, on Three Chefs, One City. Three Chefs, One City looks at the world's great food destinations through the eyes of its three most revealing chefs. This time, we're in Istanbul, Turkey, a city whose very essence was built on great food. I'm Chef Cihan. I'm Chef Cihan. This is my Istanbul. This is my Istanbul. My name is Chef Savak. This is my Istanbul. Istanbul. Chef Jivan Ur is a new breed of Turkish chef, a cook with a mission to take the best of what is Turkish and improve upon it. Hey, new is always better. We wanted to uh, serve Turkish ingredients, uh, Turkish dishes with our own twist. It's been a passion of mine ever since I, uh, I was a child. My mother uh, cooks very well, actually. Uh, she does certain things very well. My grandmother, uh, He's not a good cook at all, actually. <laughs> we opened this restaurant, Yeni Lokanta, nine months ago. Uh, what we do here is we get ingredients from all around Turkey, just local ingredients, combine them with traditional cooking techniques and our own twist. Traditional cooking techniques in the sense of uh, using the wood-fired oven, smoking things. We just uh, serve dishes which we would like to eat when we are hungry. If you really want to explore Istanbul, the first thing you have to do is tackle the Bosporus Strait. Without Bosporus, Istanbul would be a boring city. It keeps people alive, I think. I mean, it used to be an empire, and lots of ethnicities have crossed this place. I love it because of the history, not, all, not only because of the nature, because of the natural beauty, but because of its history, I think. When you really want to feel the city, this is what I do sometimes when I have time. I just uh, jump on a ferry and go to the other side. That's our ferry. A quick trek from Europe to Asia. With about 12 Turkish lira, or six American dollars, this is an easy feat by ferry passing the bridges and taking a ferry from this side or from the other side to the other one. You really uh, feel the city. Every city ha has some unique things. This is something uh, I can't get anywhere else in the world. I mean, on the ferry, you get a simit, a cup of tea, and you sit outside uh, uh, watching the silhouette of Istanbul. Uh, I do love this, yeah. Throughout Istanbul and the rest of Turkey, the markets are plentiful. They are places to bargain and find great deals on just about everything. From spices to lamps, fruits and vegetables to, uh, well, you name it. We are in Kadıköy now. Kadıköy is a neighborhood where you can get the best uh, 
fresh fish and good vegetables over here. Now we are walking towards the fish market. It's a live place, you know. You kind of feel the soul of the city when you go to the fish market. Even on a Sunday, you see lots of people uh, buying things, selling things, yelling at each other. I love it because there are so many restaurants and fishmongers and uh, uh, groceries uh, in that fish market. Uh, people from uh, all circles of life uh, come to that fish market. The first thing I would look for would be seasonal vegetables and seasonal fish, of course. Fresh seasonal fish is really hard to find these days and this is one of the best places uh, to get good fish. Out by horse mackerel, it's my all-time favorite, you know. We use them in the restaurant as well. At lunchtime we serve traditional Turkish dishes and in the last few years, uh, in the last few weeks we have this on the menu, deep fried horse mackerel with rocket salad. It's very easy and delicious. These are hot chilies. The one, these tiny ones, these are okras, dried okras. These are sun dried, especially in Konya, below Ankara. Uh, they use these uh, okras very much in stew. Uh, I used to eat all kinds of vegetables when I was a child. That also influenced uh, my way of uh, cooking as well. I, I don't only use meat and stuff, uh, vegetables are a, a big component uh, of what we do here. Dried aubergines, we use them in the restaurant quite a lot. And you can deep fry them as well. You soak them in water, when they absorb it, you can deep fry them. I mean, it, the quality of the spice here is good, because uh, they bring it uh, directly from the source. Most of them come from India, of course, and it's good quality. Turkish cuisine consists of Many components, actually. Uh, if you go to the Aegean side, there's a Greek influence. Uh, in the southeast, uh, instead, there is an Arabic influence. There is a big uh, Armenian uh, influence on Turkish cuisine as well. These are mussels. These are uh, media dolmas, which is literally mussel dolma, and it's an Armenian dish. Most of the stuff over here comes from Antalya. It's a town in southern Turkey. They have a, there is a very mild climate over there, that's why it's easy to produce vegetables. It's a colorful place, isn't it? A cup of tea, a coffee. There's always a welcoming call and a smile to be found in these active markets. We are in Bailan. This is one of the oldest patisseries in Istanbul. It was opened in 1923. Uh, the same year uh, when the Re uh, Republic was uh, founded. Only a few uh, have survived, but uh, they're still alive. They're famous for kukuriye. That's an ice cream with hazelnuts, caramel and vanilla ice cream. Coming up next, an executive chef has a new take on prison food. Okay, we're joking. Sort of. You'll see what we mean when Seyez Ademir whips up some magic at the Four Seasons Sultan Ahmet. Join me in Istanbul for the best food. Three Chefs, One City is the show that explores the destination through its food, great chefs, and great food experts. As one wanders the streets here, you can't help but notice that this is a city awash in color. And it's remarkable how color affects the senses. The heart beats faster with the reddest of reds, dances in hues of yellow, and rests in oceans of blue. Istanbul is a city of color, and while the vibrancy feeds the soul, it also makes you kind of hungry. When someone visits Turkey, that's when they get Turkey. One really needs to come to this country to, to understand and appreciate it. And uh, it's wonderful to see the transformation of people's minds about Turkey and about the Turkish people. When they come here, it is a life-changing experience. Turkey is a, in the very nice part of the world. 
and uh, it has very fertile lands and it has got a lot of water. So any kind of uh, vegetable is uh, grown here. Turkey is uh, a cradle of civilizations and therefore the food is just gorgeous. My name is Chef Savaş. This is my Istanbul. Istanbul! John, did you go to a restaurant in the Four Seasons Hotel? Yes, they're making jail foods. <laughs> <laughs> Don't make me arrest you guys. As the executive chef at the Four Seasons Hotel Istanbul and Sultana met, Savaz Ademir has created some of the most delicious and original Turkish cuisine. I am chef of the Four Seasons because I like very much to cook. This place, uh, they give me all uh, power about equipment, about people, about the products, everything. I am finding everything that I need. This historic hotel was originally an Ottoman jail built between 1918 and 1919. This property has undergone world-class changes, moving it from a Turkish big house to a five-star lodging. I guess you could say it started out as an all-inclusive resort and then got a whole lot better. I like very much my wife, but I like very much to cook. I will do for you a talaş börek, Turkish buffet street. Just warm hot pan and two times more than uh, beef onion because onion gives the taste this börek. I want only good product in my restaurant. Good wine, good cheese and good olive oil. Coming from the uh, south of uh, Turkey, it's uh, not strong tasty. Good food is take time. Now we can start to put uh, beef mince, chop it beef. If you do seasonal ingredients, fish, vegetable things, and if you love to cook, your dishes taste better. Now it's okay. Now we will wait to cool down. It smells very nice. Vegetables, meat, you can find everything. I always explore new food. I use the cappuccino cup for the dome shape. It's nice for the dome shape. When you turn down, did you see? Now we will start to do dough for the puff pastry dough. We will cut with the shape mold, two size mold. First, now we are, I am cutting underneath, first part. I cut three size of uh, dough to face the rib. Bottom, on top, and decoration. Small one before decoration. I am putting the beef fillet, roasted chunky beef, Important things, you know, your uh, beef, it says to take the uh, dome shape. I put the egg yolk for the uh, 62 dough. Yep, that's good. Now, important things, now we will cut with the knife. We will give the shape. We are trying to give the shape like a kubbe, uh, like a dome. Last part, I will put now decoration uh, part. He clearly likes to play with recipes, styles, and flavors. Now you go cook. We will wait 20 minutes and then we will see how it's looking. Now we start the garnish. Garnish, uh, sorrel, and just spinach. Spinach, baby, spinach leaf. Turkey has best farm in, uh, in the wine maker, cheese maker, olive oil maker, and uh, lots of vegetables. His reputation for originality is his trademark. Beef stew. Every meal has to be perfect. Burek is ready. This fantastic pastry pie is clearly inspired by the domes and architecture of the city. Coming up, two chefs that get along so well, 
it was hard to decide who to feature. Yeni Lokanta, there's a two new restaurant. Let's cook off. You think you got Istanbul? I got Istanbul. Who would win? Of course, us. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> Chef Jan is next. This is the best part of the show. Three chefs, one city is in Istanbul, Turkey. Napoleon Bonaparte once said, if the whole world were one country, Istanbul would be its capital. We could easily add to that, and we'd all be very well fed. Turkey is famous for its food and its evolving food scene. Chefs all over the city are revamping traditional Turkish recipes with a special twist. I'm Chef Cihan, and this is my Istanbul. My name is Cihan Kupçak. I am the uh, chef owner of the Gile restaurant. My name is Urian Doğmuş, and I'm the chef of, owner of Gile. Who is the boss, me or my partner? Of course I'm the boss. I mean, who, who can be the boss? Don't tell him that I said that. <laughs> <laughs> and the Gile restaurant is based on avant-garde Turkish cuisine. It's more modern according to other Turkish restaurants. We are very new. We are just basing on the Turkish cuisine and modernizing some Turkish uh, classics. And we are creating the new approach. When we first get the idea of opening our own restaurant, we are always trying to have a, like a small fine dining restaurant which is serving like 30, 35 people at most. So we can play more with the dishes, more with the plates. We know what to do about the music, we know what to do about the paintings, we know what to do about the decorations, family and everything. Ten people we are managing in the kitchen. Uh, also with my partner, Ilel. Come on, Rian, hurry up, hurry up, please. Please, he is always late. <laughs> the two places where great dish is born, the market, and the kitchen. We are in the Grand Bazaar now, and uh, we are choosing uh, some spices for our restaurant Gile. And uh, this is one uh, the some special products for the Turkish cuisine and kebabs. One of them is the most special one, Ufa pepper. Which one is this one? Is? It's the isot. It's the most useful one for us. If you are traveling around the bazaar and you can see the colorful pictures or colorful shops and uh, colorful carpets. And we are looking for some dried fruits, it's especially the figs. Figs is most useful for us because it's a very Turkish uh, instrument for the kitchen. Very unique bazaar. Even you can find a lot of different kind of products. Spices, cheeses, fish. It's a Turkish coffee shop and it's very famous. Turkavici Mehmet Efendi and the, it's selling Turkish coffee from the Ottoman time. And still it's very famous. As you can see, there's a huge line. And if you are in Turkey, you have to get some Turkish coffee from here. Turkish coffee was popular long before Turkish tea, which only became popular in the 20th century when the price of coffee started to become expensive. These guys know their seafood, a trait of any great chef who sources their own ingredients. After all, you have to know how to select and what to buy. We are in a store called Taze Bolut. In English, it means fresh fish. Their name is fresh fish, but they actually have the best fish in town, the freshest fish, as you can see here. Now we are going to pick some fishes. Let's start shopping. Also, Torwood, it's a good one. Because of the butter, you you feel it like that. Yes, must be very firm. We can get two of them for tonight. This is the best fish shop in town, and we are getting daily fish from here to use in menu. It's very exciting for every day. We are coming here to choose a different kind of fish. You have to come here to get some fresh fish if you are in Istanbul. Sometime in my hometown, I'm loving cooking the 
fish because it's very fresh and you can find and you can catch uh, on your own. We are making the shrimp dish. We cooked the shrimps uh, over there and now I'm going to cook it inside. We will use the uh, charred uh, red bell pepper puree and then a sea fennel pickled and we make a salad with that and the charred uh, shrimp. This is our shrimp dish and combining the some different tastes from sea and the forest. Healthier, fresher, lighter, and with different flavor combinations. Exploring new Turkish food is an adventure. If you are going to Grand Pazar or this area, you have to go to eat uh, balı ekmek. There you are. They are cooking fish. It's, they are catching from the Marmara Sea. It's very uh, old and special thing, the fish and bread. Uh, we are calling balı ekmek. This is a good place. After to eat some fish after shopping right after the boat. From Africa, from Mid Middle East, from Europe, from Greece, Turkish cuisine is kind of mixture of those regions. We have heavy foods. We have to create a new approach for uh, example more healthy, more lighter than this, refined. Kind of think about the Turkish food and like uh, make some small touch like our signatures. This restaurant is hot on the food scene in this city, with lineups and a lot of buzz to prove it. But who really is the best chef, guys? John is a great cook. He, he for really, like, he is the best cook in town. But I'm the best chef. Come on, come on. Don't look at me, come on. Do you see who is the boss? Kim Do these guys get along? Huh. I guess they have to, with two chefs in charge of one kitchen. Huh? Come on. Yeah, be Come quiet on. and work. Be quiet and work. Be quiet and work. Do you see the, what I put up with? I'm so going to get in trouble. <laughs> so there you have it. A look at Istanbul and its food scene through the eyes of those who define it. Chef Siobhan Ur, turning the world onto old-style food with a contemporary twist. Savaz Ademir and his gastronomic architectural feats and Chef Gian Kipkak, showing us that two chefs are sometimes better than one. Istanbul has rocked the food scene through the ages, and clearly will continue to do so. One of the world's great food destinations, revealed here on Three Chefs, One City.